Hello, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. Today we are going to do another spooky edition um, and we're just going to talk about some of my spooky experiences. Alright, so I want to talk about something, this isn't ghost related, but it sort of is and it was a very interesting experience. So when I worked at the hospital, my first job there was to clean rooms um, as a housekeeper and to, you know, because hospitals are full of like staph infections and gross stuff. So to try to keep those down, you were required to go into a room once a day when a patient wasn't checking out to clean their room. The purpose of that was to try to prevent them from getting some kind of MRSA or staph or, you know, any kind of infection. So I went into a room and I would we generally would go into the rooms in the mornings and some people would be sleeping. But even if they were sleeping, we were still required to go in those rooms. So I just would go in the rooms without turning on lights when people were sleeping and I would be quiet or as quiet as I could to, to clean these rooms. And I go into this room and this lady is sleeping. And so I'm just quietly wiping down the surfaces I need to wipe down. And I hear her wake up and she's like, I need you to turn that light off. And I'm like, I, I didn't turn a light on. I'm, I'm sorry for waking you. And she's like, you didn't turn a light on. And I'm like, no, I didn't turn a light on. And she's like looking at me. And the next thing she says is, oh, well, you are bright and you must see or experience things from the other world. You're a beacon. And I'm just like, um, okay. Okay, and she's like, I'm blind. I can't see much, but I do see lights and shadows and like I can see some of that and all I see from you is a very bright light. So if you didn't turn a light on, I can probably guess that you see and experience interesting things. Um, so yeah, I had that experience and I thought that was really creepy honestly um I avoided her room I didn't I I didn't go in her room and clean it anymore after that she was there for a few days um one I didn't want to wake her with my supposed brightness but two like it was just a really unusual conversation for me um but yeah so she basically told me that she spirits probably come and find me or seek me out because they can see me uh yeah okay so i was working one night in the er and they, the ER had hallways and I, well, let me take it back. It was in the morning. It was a really early in the morning. Uh, I was working in the ER. It felt like night, but it really was morning. But, um, I, those ER rooms are gross, but I'm not going to go into that. Um, but I was required to clean those rooms. A good clean like I was required to give those rooms a full clean um, in the mornings and 
in the mornings it's not as busy so it's like you're running in those rooms to try and get them clean well at one point they had one hallway completely um shut down because i they didn't have enough staff i think um and so i was in that hallway and i was cleaning it because eventually at night there would probably be more staffing to cover it and in the ER I don't know how it is in other places but they have like cabinets and then the cabinets they have like blankets and sometimes they have gauze or you know just ER stuff and those doors they had like little push locks like it was like a coded lock and you would push the code okay so those are all shut and locked and what i would do when a hallway was closed i would go to like two or three rooms and i would take all the linen out all the trash out and then I would go and wipe everything and then I would sweep and mop and I just did that for all three rooms so I didn't have to keep putting stuff back and I just felt like that worked the best for me to get things done the quickest. Anyways, I went into a room and noticed one of the doors was open, you know, to the block cabinet which was like whatever. So I shut it. And when I went into the next room, it was open too, and so I shut it. And then the next, the third room was the same way. And I'm like, this is weird. They never leave them open, but whatever. Okay, maybe it's a new person. Maybe they were stalking. I don't know. So I shut it. Well, when I went back into the first room to do my next step, it was open again that was really weird and I'm like huh okay this is kind of bizarre but what do I do you know so I just kind of shut it and as I was going into the next room I swear to you I saw a kid or thought I saw a kid this little boy run past me and I'm like oh that was weird and then I hear laughing and I was like hmm, that's even more weird I'm putting stuff on my cart I go into the next room and the little cabinet was open and these are locked like I don't know so I thought that was really freaking bizarre and I'm like looking around and like hello like <laughs> this is weird I'm like looking down the hallways to see if any of the you know chain specialists stalkers were like around and nobody was they carried huge massive carts you couldn't miss them and so I'm like okay this, this is freaking weird and the next door was the same way and this happened to me on that entire hallway all the way down it just was a just kept happening um yeah I thought that was kind of weird and a little bit unexplainable maybe I don't know what do you think I was a little bit hmm, hmm, okay so another thing that happened was <clears throat> I would clean the surgery rooms at night with a group of people and we would clean the PACU last which is where you know people go after surgery to make sure they could be released into rooms So I um, was in that PACU and I look like, and it's dark, it's a massive, massive room, like 
you know and so we had only in like three parts kind of so we would turn the lights on for the first part and then when we got down to the second part we turned the lights on in third part you know but like I looked down and I swear I saw this like very large shadow um it was a very large shadow like this like black moving figure and I'm I, I don't know what that was could have been just like a light effect or something this packy was on like the fourth floor um there's no windows in it so it couldn't have been like cars or anything you know driving by um i think it was the third floor it could have been the fourth i think it's the third floor it's been a long time um yeah i just got really creeped out by this like moving black shadow figure thing i don't know how i felt about that um let's see another time okay here's a really weird one so like i told you when i was a housekeeper we had to clean rooms and our hospital is busy we the hospital i worked at was at that time like the main one like it had the icu and specialists and things so we got a lot of people and we would help people from surrounding areas okay so it was a very full hospital and generally we had to work my eyes watering and it's messing up my eyeshadow anyways so because of you know how busy and many people we served we had to turn over our rooms as quickly as possible to get people in and so the nurses they would immediately they would immediately put a um room in the system as like come clean it and we would rush and they would stat rooms so if it was a stat room that was like our priority room and i think this room was a stat room on a busy floor that had a patient waiting for a room so it was statted and so i went over there to you know clean the room and i opened the door and the we used to say somebody expired and you know there's a person who expired in the room and there was a person who was expired in the room and i swear to you when i opened that door that i'm getting goosebumps but i opened the door because the door was closed and this shadow this white misty it wasn't a shadow i guess it was a white misty woman shoved past me and like went through me and left and that was the weirdest weirdest fucking feeling ever and at first i just thought there was like a patient you know that was or family who was still in the room getting stuff whatever 
and then when it went past like through me it, like it all happened so quickly so quickly so i um yeah i just thought that was really weird and when i looked over on the bed you know there was a person you know um that you know there was a body and um yeah and that body looked like the person that shoved past me and threw me out of the room so you can call me crazy um because sometimes i think i am crazy um but that happened and yeah i i don't know i don't know i don't know how to explain that um besides like maybe i was just super fucking tired i don't <laughs> i don't know um yeah so those are like my most memorable experiences at the hospital i you know i had experienced like weird feelings and things and like uh, when i experience weird feelings if there's nothing to back up why i'm feeling weird i just chalk it up to just feeling weird especially at the hospital because you know there was um especially in the hospital just because there's like x-ray machines mri machines you know there's there's reasons as to why you might feel off um but yeah that that one was the one that really stuck with me that's that's for sure okay I am going to do the rest of my face off camera and then I will be back to show you the finished look. Please don't go anywhere, okay? It's only just a second, okay? Okay, so I've been trying to wait. You probably hear the noise. My neighbors are like doing something in their yard, some like lawn work. I know it's really loud and obnoxious, but I can't wait anymore, so... Anyways, thank you for joining me on this spooky journey. Um, I used the Natasha Denona Love Palette on my eyes today. This is my first time using the palette. This is my first large Natasha Denona palette or mm, sort of large. It's not her largest, largest, but yeah, it was on sale at Sephora for half off, so I wanted to dabble in the formula to see if it was worth it. Um, and then I used Dose of Colors, Flirty on my lips, which is like, Dose of Colors is my favorite, favorite, favorite lip formula. Anyways, what do you think? Um, let me know about your ghostly or interesting unexplainable experiences i hope you made it to the end if you did thank you so much i really appreciate all your time and yeah hope to see you next time okay bye